Francisco presents the 26th annual Japanese New Year's bell ringing ceremony. This event will take place at 200 Larkin Street, San Francisco, Freewood Museum admission. For details, call 415-581-3500. The community calendar is produced by members of the First Voice Apprenticeship Program. Send your listing at least three weeks in advance to KPFA Box 51-1929, Martin Luther King Jr. Way in Berkeley, California, 94704. Fax them to 510-848-3812 or email us at calendar at kpfa.org attention to the community calendar. Tell us if your event is wheelchair accessible. To hear the calendar again, call 510-848-6767, extension 621. This calendar is also online at kpfa.org. And you're listening to 94.1 KPFA in Berkeley, 89.3 KPFB in Berkeley, 88.1 KFCF in Fresno, and online at kpfa.org. It's 7.01 p.m. Up next, Apex Express. Stay with us. Apex Express, Asian Pacific Expression. Cultural coverage, music and calendar, new visions and voices. Coming to you as an Asian Pacific Islander point of view. It's time to get on board the Apex Express. Greetings. Happy solstice and happy holidays. You tuned in to your free speech radio. Non commercial, non governmental, listener sponsored radio. KPFA. Big up to all the folks listening also on KPFB in Berkeley and KFCF in Fresno. This is the every Thursday broadcast at 7 p.m. Pacific time of our Asian and Pacific Islander community show called Apex Express. Select Lapu Lapu in here alongside Sister Jane. Tonight. Tonight we're going to be uh, hearing some artist interviews from Beat Rock Music's second anniversary celebration that just happened last weekend in San Francisco, as well as recent releases from the artists of Beat Rock Music. Artists uh, interviewed in the main by our very own Ellen Choi, a.k.a. DJ LN, RJ Lozada, and a few little uh, ideas and things recorded by Select Lapu Lapu. You can call the I brother K, host of the Roots Communications on the Great Turtle Island. Friday late night, 2 to 6 mix, at 2 to 6 Pacific Time, AM. We've been doing it for 16 years We're going to do the last one for Gregorian calendar year 2011 uh, on this Friday late night, 2 a.m. So tune us in for your chance. Right about now, I'd like to launch into some of this music and interview with artists from Beat Rock Music.
informed the social norms. Born in Bath, Florida, border the slow slaughter. Watch from my window as the world switch like Elkhorns. Workers of the world whisper while the boss eats his dinner, waiting for the poison to hit his liver. Social wars be my ideology, not alone in my dome. Every home across the globe with no room and snow, no. What goes up, 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 comes down like y'all be up. We reload our rounds. Who controls us, us? The paper ain't got we trust. Watch that money and slave ya. Politic with people like us, values versus conditions, creating divisions. If two people are poor, come from different religions. You can get in a fight, like most of the Christians. Just trusting folks, and I ran in the rack. Put the bunk some more people in the Philippines, cat. Up in the back of our building where the guns go bang. All the colors and numbers, is it's a money thing. What goes up, 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 comes down. Like y'all be up, we reload our rounds. Who controls us, us? God is known as power struggle. He's about to know me. Alongside a man called Mr. Ray, whom we're going to hear from first. And we're going to launch into some interviews gathered by RJ Losada and uh, DJ LN. You are tuned in to Apex Express, Asian and Pacific Islander programming here on KPFA. Mr. Ray, ang simula pa sa Makati, pumunta sa San Francisco, live right here in the mission, and um, just straight up repping San Francisco, the world, you know, the people, the people, the working class, you know, that's what I am, and we're here right now with the beat rock music, um, second second year anniversary, and it's beautiful, so, you know, we, uh, you were there in the first one, we got to celebrate, so, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, uh, breaking the gap, we um, I facilitate, uh, to coordinate, uh, I have this food program, I'm breaking, uh, for breaking the gap program, and um, in the south of market, it's focused on newly arrived immigrants, and at the same time, bringing it to the suburban city and, and have them, you know, kind of have a community, so that whole imbalance of like, you know, being born in the CI and being born here. It's, uh, it's kind of like talked about and, and, uh, and having to for to form a better. Oh man, no 
you just have to like buy me from the center, strong can, STC, you know, it's a lot of, you know, what, uh, you know, the players, you know, there's a lot of people doing it, you know. year anniversary for the Beat Rock Music Group and the Long Beach based company through their party in San Francisco. That's because it's where most of their artists have lived or organized. The event was held in tandem with photographer Leo Dr. Yanyan's continuing exhibit, Portraits of the Beat Rock Family. The gathering was a celebration of unity, critical consciousness, and fun. Present at the event were new and veteran performers alike. Juan, Rocky Rivera, Oteo Dub, Power Struggle, Bamboo 55, Bamboo, Geologic, and DJ Tactic. Also present was Beat Rock Music Brainchild, Eric Bat Gums Strand, and Beat Rock Clothing Line creator, David Aratel. Contributors Ellen Choi and myself, RJ Lozada, checked in with the artists that carried multiple identities as organizers, parents, lifelong students. I first checked in with photographer Leo Dacuniana, and get at his aesthetic motivations for the portraits. I was going for a dramatic look. You know, I lived things uh, what I thought was in a dramatic manner. And um, the focal point I, I wanted to be was obviously the portraits of them, their faces. And so I chose um, I chose black so they, they would pop, you know. Um, I played around with uh, color. I played around with white backdrops. And I felt that black represented um, their indi individuality the best. So I'm happy with, with the final product. Printing big, this is the first time I've printed as big as I have. 32 by 48. And I guess it depends on, well, that's big for me. Walk us through, like, you're sitting them, uh, sitting them in a chair and all lit up. Like, how are you coaching them through the process? Like, what goes into getting the right shot? Well, that's the thing, man, is th there was really no coaching at all. I feel that the, the, the good thing about working with these artists is I felt most of them are re already comfortable in front of a camera. They all have been on tours, have been in front of cameras for magazine work, etc. So there was not much coaching at all. I mean, obviously there were subtle things um, that go into play with what my work looks like. And so specifically there might be times where I would want them to drop their heads slightly. But beyond that, there was really no coaching. I just kind of snapped the images. The tough thing also was Prometheus Brown is from Seattle, Bamboo, L.A., Rocky Rivera, I believe L.A. with him. Um, so it was tough getting them in the studio to do this. When I did have them, I literally had them for between five and ten minutes. So I, I, you know, I had to shoot really, really quickly. And what did you, what did you learn about yourself in that process? Shooting quick, and I think a lot of that has to do with the, the, the magazine work I have done in terms of hip hop. You only get two or three minutes with these hip hop artists, so you know the key word, key not words, the key. Yeah, I guess key words are be set up. Lightwise, do test shots, have an assistant prior to shooting the images. It's going to make things flow quicker. Um, artist is happy, and you find a product is usually a lot better. Cool. Is there anything else that you want to add? Like, what do you what do you want people to get out of this? What do I want people to get out of this? I want people to definitely. I feel by doing this project, it's it's brought people together. It's it's brought demographic of people to me that I probably would not have been able to reach out to if it wasn't for the bamboos, the kiwis, the Prometheus Browns, etc. Um, so definitely I'd like to meet additional people that may be interested in my work and maybe they didn't know who I was until this project. And uh, overall, I think the beat rock musics, their message is um, unity and, and working, working as a team. You know, to and, and this is a totally different conversation, but um, working as a team to, to try to fix the system we live in. Um, so, if anything, I, I, I really love to, to meet as many as people as I can here, and and if uh, 
as they do emceeing and, and um, hip hop, if I could encourage someone to get into still photography or anything related to images, uh, it's brought so much joy to my life. If I could spread that to someone else that really is interested, that would be super dope. Geo, what a blue blood. Don't play with a bounce, don't play the masses. Take a master face like a masquerade. Parade of those who are gonna be afraid to hide one back in the police face. But the police spray your whole can of mace. Spit that, I ain't gonna hit the break. Come on, I run, I'm in high pursuit. Police going off top to shoot. Sky rule, I rock it through. Back of the little tooth that I knock it loose. I pop for you, put my pot in the suit. Broke in a motherfucking pocket suit. The school's not teaching how to earn no dough. That's why I roll with a fofo fo. Slow down. See, I believe in the block. It's the spot that I'm gonna turn into my burial. Plot of fucking lot. For a mall, the shop used to be owned by mom and pop. Now it's where your grande latte can get by. And what's that new mall? They gon' double the cops. So stay hush. Keep a white tee, you're more than them jeans on my chuck. So the sassy fitted cap with the brim flip back. I can't wear skinny jeans, cause my gas is fat. Yeah. Sun go up yeah. and the sun come yeah. down. The money get low yeah. when the guns come yeah. out. From my late to the town. Somebody tell them kids to slow down. Yeah. Sun go up, sun come down. Yeah. Money get low, guns come out. From my late to the town. Somebody tell them kids to slow down. Yeah. and an artist yourself with the camera. How's it feel to be on the other side? Um, oh, like right now. It's, it's great. It's actually what um, inspired me to get behind the camera is doing stuff like this. And um, in order for me to really know what's going on on this side, I felt like I had to just through a series of asking questions, being like, oh, what you doing there? Or what's that setting? Or what's, what's that? And then getting into it myself, I feel like it's helped me just become more comfortable. It's not a mystery now as much as it used to be. So now I can really trust the people who do this kind of stuff with what they do. And if they're not dope at it, then I could call them out on it <laughs> because there's no reason I should know more than you. So how easy is it working with Leo? With Leo? He said, yeah, he said like sometimes you would only have like five to ten minutes working with you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, but it's kind of unfair the position that we put him in <laughs> because the Bay Area, like I love it here and I come here a lot. But I, it seems like I'm never here for more than a day or two. Because um, it, it's either like we had, we had a show in L.A. and then a show in, in San Francisco. Then we go home, so we're like going straight home or, or the other way around. We're like, um, so every time I link up with Leo, it's always on some like, you know, in, in the middle of something just happening before and, and I got to get to something right after. He's been dope to work with, but at the same time, um, I don't, I don't think we've had the most optimal conditions to let him do what he does best. 
one last question. Uh, what's at the core of your? I mean, I think you're a Renaissance man, to be honest, man. Like, I feel like I, you know, I'm waiting for your own photography show, even though you haven't announced anything. <laughs> you know, like you've traveled the country and the world, and you know, you you got pegged to do an editorial for Al Jazeera. You know, it's a pretty big deal. Like, what what's at the center of all of that? Oh man, it's uh, first and foremost. The approaching things like a like a documentarian, you know, I, I was a history major in college. Um, it's always been one of my interests. I worked in a museum for four years. If you listen to the music, there's a lot of um, utilizing music as historical document. And so when I write outside of the music and when I do photography um, in and out of the music, it's all part of that same need to, to document um, stories that otherwise might not be told uh, similar to the fact that I was only hit to my own history as a Filipino in America Asian American working class person things like that you don't see on TV and the media and movies and film and textbooks um, I feel like maybe it, it comes from that but that if I don't do this, if we don't do this, then the next generation is going to have to dig really hard to find out what it was like. And so that's that's where it all comes from, is to just document everyday life. with artists from Beat Rock. Just heard from Geologic, a.k.a. Prometheus Bound and Beat Yeah. 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 This here's Black Gums and Bamboo. Uh. Pedal music like dope, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Black Gums. What you know about photocopy CD? Labels, label uh, photocopy flyers in the city of angels. Hit in every open mic up, early just to sign up and line up to catch a show with big name lineups. I would study every rap back, thinking I could smash that, hoping I could get the chance to do my own tracks. I'm back up, the list turn up, the right to my day job. I'm right in my boss face, I'm getting late, dog. Hire me to find somebody else to work stock for. Ten hours shift, no lunch to my bedroom to record it. Bounce it, bounce it, and burn it, and I'm hitting up the DJs like my man is murderous while I'm stuck between a gang ties and a gang live, trying to walk right so I don't end up in wayside and end up not alive, and every single time I hear a kick snare bass, I heard not to rhyme like my man Faggum, while he up in that classroom, trying to stay focused when he open that textbook. Every pen tap is a boom bap hit. He's fighting, dropping out to make that hip hop ish. But that's the struggle, I guess. Man, we pedal for sense. We pedal music on the side to hopefully make rent. Bamboo, been through it. Back gums going through it. But the fact you listen ain't gonna keep us making this music. music, 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 David Arkell, um, 
the owner of b -Rock. How's it feel to be up here? How's it feel? It feels really good. I mean, it, the energy is really good. I just flew up from Long Beach today. I got in at 7, and then just to walk into this was honestly just a very beautiful thing just to see all the people get together and then all the artists and everything and just to see everyone just having a good time just really good feeling so yeah so your artists just happen to be a lot of them are filipino <laughs> and a lot of them are organizers were and was any of that intentional uh, uh, for, for the artists and the musicians um i mean the, one of the reasons i i, I really like dave's stuff and the B-Rock stuff is because they really stood for something that I felt was like honest and good and like, you know, you know, just for the people stuff and, and I thought it was an image that I, I wanted to uphold and hopefully I'm doing the right thing and doing the, and upholding it through the music and so every artist that I welcome into the family has a certain consciousness that I, I, I respect and that um, and, and, and they put that in their music and, and a lot of them at the same time do it for work like they're community organizers activists or just you know at least so we're doing something positive in the world and I think that's important for music we want to make this you know make it sound good but at the same time the message is really important I don't think I would be as motivated to do any of this if I didn't uh, if my heart wasn't behind it and if it wasn't behind the message so for me it's been very important for the artists to you know keep the tradition of what B-Rock clothing is and, and I always talk about that today I check in with them be like you know Give me a check, make sure that it's still in line with you guys, because because they're kind of like they set the standard for the music, and, and I want to make sure I uphold that standard. Hitting all the unknown spots, missing the tourists. Appreciating how all my people flourish. The history of struggle and the legacy of courage. Fight for equality that's always been calling me. Those that have walked on the path that I'm following. I'm following. See, that's the crash of the Pacific. Laying down these lyrics in the Sunset District. Reflecting on the richness that I've just witnessed. The base, the best place in the world, man. Isn't it? We call it home, where I choose to stay. And it's so dope in so many ways. See, you should see it, cause these words can't convey. I traveled around the world, we'll make my home in the bay. I mean, it's sunny damn near every single day. From the hills of Marin, down south to San Jose. There's no place quite like it that I'm able to say. I traveled around the world, we'll make my home in the bay. Yeah, man. You know, I've lived a lot of places in my life, man. Moved all over, you know what I'm saying? When I came to the Bay, I feel like this is the place I need to stay. Yeah. Uh, moved to the Bay back in 96. Back when the town was also grimy. It's just straight white Nike kicks. It's either that or some K-Swisses. Yeah, I traveled around the globe and came back to my Bay business. Uh, in St. Louis with my ace fitted. Lower purple haze with my Uncle Gray. Speaking how we way different. Earthquakes got the place shifted. He only tripping off the fact we got Asians who say nothing. Uh, this is the melting pot the wealthy lost their money on. Say we prices all summer long. Never when it rains. So we hit Tahoe to see the snow. I got a closet full of kicks. You won't find a winter coat. So many places they go and eat food. I can teach you North Beach, Italian bodega, baked for the seafood. Don't get me wrong, I love the tacos in LA, but ain't no way. And it's so dope in so many ways. See, you should see it, cause these words can't convey. I traveled around the world, but make my home in the bay. I mean, it's sunny damn near every single day. From the San Francisco Giants to the Oakland A. There's no place quite like it that I'm able to say. I've traveled around the world, but make my Ain't no other better place to be. I dedicate it so faithfully. Stay a minute and you hate to leave. And if you ain't been around here, take 
baby for uh, me. I said the bay is my home, so I'm laying my dome. When it's time to take a rest, my favorite area code is 415 to the one at the end. It's an O. Where's the rate of silver and black? Or well, nine is red with the gold in the smoke. Then ghost riding and telling them when to go. Shopping the rest, puking the Vietnamese boat when you roll. Through the hood, you find a see all different kind of kids. Even got some turvy Arabs on some DJ college. I tried New York, but the winners was unbearable. And when you try to find great vines, they ain't hearing you. Smoking like the miracles, only the vessel do. Flowing ghosts from Santa Rosa on down to Santa Cruz. And I love We it. call it home, where I choose to stay. And it's so dope in so many ways. See, you should see it, cause these words can't convey. I've traveled around the world, we'll make my home in the bay. I mean, it's sunny damn near every single day. Actually, it's kind of foggy, dude. Shut up, Gamma Ray. There's no place quite like it that I'm able to say. I've traveled around the world, we'll make my home in the bay. How are you feeling this evening? I'm oh, good, man. I'm good. <laughs> Chilling. Tell, right. tell me what's going on tonight. Uh, B-Rock, two-year anniversary. And um, what are you going to bring tonight? Um, I'm bringing a whole lot of style, swag. No, not swag. Energy, charisma, things like that. Things of that nature. How do you feel being on this label? It's a good label. It's good. I love it. I, I love being a part of this collective. There's a lot of talented cats on here. Um, you know, I'm the lone Mayweather fan on the label. So. <laughs> Tell me about that. Tell me about, no, that's a good. That's, that's some good discussion right yeah, that's there. The elephant, that's the elephant in the room, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, the, it, the music tip is really what's bigger than that makes it bigger than anything else, bigger than any other standing. So, you know, we we out here trying to really make good music, spit a real message, get our point across, and you know that's what we're about above everything. Right? Right. From a Louisville slugger bat, had to upgrade that. Butterfly knife, now with snake plated to me gas. Back to the situation, they done stuck my people in for two decades. I've been fighting kids who look just like Bam. Damn. Come to think about it, it's fucked up. Now I'm spilling my guts over fat gum from self hate. I propagated, played it out like I'm supposed to. If you were from where I was from, what would you propose that I do? Colonized kids become colonized men, become colonized parents, or colonized kids when they colonize them in the beginning. It's strategic. Take away your last name, poison all your teachings. Now you left with a chain around your neck. Now it's funny, you dying to get a chain around your neck. Hope that I'm a soldier, ass Tino. He know the cops tried to get your man to sing like Cino, but no. How you gonna come with your hands on your head from the trigger of your gun when they kick at your front door? How you gonna come with your hands on your head from the trigger of your gun? Everywhere you turn, it's like hot damn, ready, aim, click, bang. Every other channel, all I'm seeing is the same thing. Whether it's a script or they caught it on a hidden cam, gun in the hands. And this is how to be a man. This is where your power lies. But you don't realize right behind the trigger was a whole nation brutalized. I see the blood stains. I want to look away, but I cannot escape. These bullets ricochet, leaving all them holes in the pages of our history. In the front, out the back. And you and me, man, what you do? When that lead comes flying and the life gets ruined, them cops and sirens and his mama there crying. Hold up, this is 
the old song He killed his own brother, where did we go wrong? You tell him let it go, but he wants to hold on You tell him let it go, but he wants to hold on you got your front door How you gonna come? With your hands on your head On the trigger of your gun When they kick at your front door How you gonna come? With your hands on your head On the trigger of your gun Trigger, the people will make it better. We got plans to figure the time is now or never. Cause we too clever for the scheme. You know the American dream. I close my eyes and all I hear is the screams. Because all that glitters is not gold. Go ask the Chinese who worked on the railroad. This is the land of opportunity for exploitation. All of us minorities used for our labor. Antagonized by the blue-eyed bandits. Plus our culture, religion, histories, and languages. Forced to assimilate instead of integrate. Treated like inmates and sold that were in. Great. Now wait, you really want me to pledge allegiance and put my faith in the country founded by scheming? Come on and do some thinking. Besides, my pledge of allegiance is for civil disobedience. They kick at your front door. How you gonna come? With your hands on your head, on the trigger of your gun. When they kick at your front door, how you gonna come? With your hands on your head, on Counterparts featuring native guns. Jane here, and uh, we're going to continue with more interviews with beat rock artists. Right now, I'd like to play you a little bit of the uh, sound check from a new group called Bandung 55. Bandung is in the city in Indonesia where the non aligned conferences took place that Malcolm X referred to. Bandung 55. <laughs> It's after the power of the demon heard us, the whole drama of the love, the earth, and the neck. I'm never still asking what's the purpose. The mere mention of the word makes a lot of men nervous. The sound check, you know? Featuring Kiwi on vocals. Kiwi of Native Guns. As you can hear, there's some rock style in here on a label that's predominantly known for its hip hop. Beat rock.
saying this incorrectly, uh, Bandu 55? Yes, so Bandu, Bandu 55, um, we are a five uh, people band with a lead hip hop artist, Kiwi, um, and basically the roots of how we got together were, um, you know, we wanted to create like conscious music that feel good, but at the same time sending a political message. And basically, Bandung, Bandung uh, 55 was named after the Bandung Conference in Indonesia in 1955, where there were all these anti-imperialist forces, uh, folks from Africa, folks from Asia, folks from the Philippines, came together in um, Bandung, Indonesia, to talk about an uh, anti-imperialist agenda, which uh, totally conflicted what the U.S. imperialists were trying to plan out for the, the world. So it's a people, pro-people agenda. So we're trying, you know, our music kind of reflects that kind of perspective, like raising consciousness, calling out the system, um, raising awareness of some of the issues that uh, folks are facing, like the Occupy stuff and class, issues of youth, issues of police brutality, and things like that. Thank you for connecting that. Um, uh, I'm actually quite excited to watch you guys, because you're the only live band tonight. Everyone else has got produced music, but you guys are special. How do you, how do you feel about being in a being live? Yeah, well, I mean, just having a band in general is very revolutionary, just because the uh, the whole issues of instrumentation is kind of out of the, of the picture now, especially since um, with the, the creation of like mixers and synthesizers, um, it's kind of a lost art. So I get really, really excited um, when I hear bands and um, yeah, just, just to, to, to be out there, it's definitely really, really tense, you know, because you got to be on point. But um, it's 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 always a, a, a pleasure to hear live music. Um, and you know we're not all artists. Like we're, you know most of us are, are community organizers, with the exception of Kiwi and um, Paul, who have experience in being in bands and, and shows. But a lot of us just do uh, mess around for fun. Um, and you know we think that live music is a way to go. It's just it's, it's, it's not, uh, a lot of there's a lot of folks that don't have live music like this. So I'm excited. Cool. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Absolutely. Express. Asian and Pacific Islander programming on your free speech radio. KPFA or KPFB in Berkeley. KFCF in Fresno. Online. KFCF.org and KPFA.org. Organization. That's the key. Where you can get your free MP3, 4, 5, or 6. KPFA.org. You're hearing music and interviews from artists with the Beat Rock Music label. Next up, a track from Fat Gums in Bamboo.
not a song to gas a girl head I'll get a girl to bed A proclamation that the queen been shot and dead Cause way too many pairs of mine kick rhymes Throwing lines like queen and a vocabin at the same time Grind on a woman at the club while the wife Spend the night with his kid, he see his life like a bid While his wife by the shit that he dish when words fly So I'm here to check these brothers, tell these sisters they lie I know these players out here, will say I'm blocking that Thing is, I'm mad enough to step up and the rest of y'all not Some of y'all got daughters and all of y'all got moms Y'all be treating other women like y'all hate y'all moms Kanye had a mama who taught women at Clark But when he raps, he be tearing young women apart <laughs> Right? Somebody check me if I'm wrong Take a bad yellow Make her drop them draws The queen's dead Bye, bye, I heard the queen was dead I heard the queen was dead I heard the queen was dead I said, Don't refer to women as queens Cause you got fingers like me Cause squeeze a M16 You a soldier like me So until I people the free The title queen means I don't feel like a king Now hold you up in such a way It's just a new way to play Cause in the way your person treat You go beyond what they say This is the twist on the word With just a little switch Mind sex, mind games The authenticness It's self-taught through the wrongs That I've made and still make Me and Chris still be wildin' All up in each other's face I can't lie Like it's all peace But in these dark streets I bet my life should be the first To pull a great pound piece And do a bid for me And take a life for me That ain't the actions of a bourgeoisie queen to me Right? <laughs> Somebody check me if I'm wrong It's the new patriarchy in a conscious song The queen's dead Bye bye, I heard the queen was dead Listen, I would rather brothers call you queen and But if the intent behind it's motivated by sex, then genuine is probably not. So that's why I said the queen's dead. So I call you a soldier instead. I said I would rather brothers call you queen and... But if the intent behind it's motivated by sex, then genuine is probably not. So that's why I said the queen's dead. So I call you a soldier instead. Come on. Rocky Rivera. Are you excited for this event? I am, you know. I'm, com I'm comfortable because everybody's family to me. It's, you know, it's not an unfamiliar environment, and I shot my portrait here, and we've been preparing for it. So, I'm, yeah, I'm super excited, super excited. What's it like working with Leo? With Leo? Leo, he's really cool. He's really professional, and we have been meaning to get together and do this uh, photo shoot, and I ended up being the last person shot for this. So um, I'm actually really, really happy I didn't get to miss out on this opportunity because now that I see that I'm on a shirt, I'm on the first shirt, and I'm up, it's, it's really amazing. It is. Not just because I like seeing my face blown up humongously, but because it's very artistic, and I, you know, I love his work, obviously. And he has, he has this motif, and he has this talent of working with smoke. Oh. Um, <laughs> Was that easy for you to do? You know what? It, it's kind of something that has become a quintessential thing that I do. But um, really, I was on my way out. I had a show in Sacramento. I asked if anybody had done it before me. I really wanted to do something differently from everybody else. Also, since I'm the only woman. And he said, no, you know, nobody has done a smoke shot. And, you know, I know how to do the smoke shots. I've done them for years. So we got to do that, and it ended up amazing and ended up on like i said on the first shirt so i lucked out i lucked out
button, make it sure to cut a work out. And every time you click up on the internet and see me face, then you wish you never settled for that hook out. I know you Video grinding in your mini skirt, bragging to your boys about the things you want to do to her. Oh boy, you're just a sucker for the gutsy wine, pulling all the gutsy gals, thinking we're the best in mind. You're not a teenager anymore, so why you still trying to find love on the dark floor? When the sisters to the left see you acting like an idiot, don't you say goodbye and you left with your dim wish. I just say you don't care about your fate, cause I found me a man to replace When I love him like a freak and I put your boy to sleep But you gotta show your woman with the street You know, you Then you think that every woman is Now you're stuck with a gal Only love you if you're rich you know? Y'all only knows how much your mama trained her son Cause you're acting like a fool Then you ain't the only one So I never pay attention to the buses in the front A gang's always yell what you are I'm on the left foot Love in the morning with the lights on And you never have to worry about your friends when you're gone So I hope that you will find What it is you're looking for so long Save it for the next one They don't care about your fate Cause I found me a man to replace me Love it when I love him like a freak And I put your boy to sleep But you gotta share your woman with the street Log on to deeprockmusic.com or for more information on the label and the clothing line, please log on to deeprockmusic.com or deeprock.com. And to check out Leo's work, go to leo.guyanen.com. That's L E O D O C U Y A N A N.com. On behalf of Ellen Choi, I'm Arjun Lozada, reporting from San Francisco for Apex Express. Does it for uh, coming to the Beat Rock Music second anniversary? <laughs> Sounds here from Rocky Rivera What's alongside Rocka Dunn. AKA Rocky Rivera, representing San Francisco, and I get down to KPFA. Yeah, you tuned in to Apex Express. Give y'all the same hospitality y'all been giving me that you all have given me every time I come out here. Bay Area, LA, Seattle, in the building. Give it up for Six Fingers and Geologic. Back on some the Philippine movement, we knew this thing called Isak Baksak. One down. So we're going to close this show like this. We're going to do Unity Clap like this. Back in the day in the 60s, the Mexican Latino workers and the Filipino workers in the farm fields, they used to organize together. But then they had to like come to a point of unity at the end of each meeting. So we're going to do unity clap. And at the end of the clap, we're going to say, Isang Bak Sak, and you can go, BOW! Y'all down for that? Because yeah. we have unity tonight, right? So one, two, ready, go. He's gone, but stop! Well, love, y'all get home safe. Go to the after party at the
close, we wind down this edition of Apex Express on winter solstice on the Gregorian calendar 2011. I'd like to wish you happy holidays, whichever holy days you observe. This uh, was known as the New Year for some cultures, including uh, fairly recently a lot of people in Japan. And I'd like to give a special remembrance to our good sister, Jinahota. For folks who would like to help the typhoon victims in the Philippines, the National Alliance for Philippine Concerns is actually uh, activating its Bayanihan Relief for Victims of the Disastrous Calamity in Mindanao. Uh, for more information about how you can help the people who've been struck by the flooding in southern Philippines, in Mindanao, you can contact nafconusa.org. Uh, email info at nafcon. That's nafconusa.org. The phone number you could reach instead if you'd rather go by phone than by internet. 650-580-7382. That's 650-580-7382. National Alliance for Filipino Concerns. The website again, nafconusa. Dot org. By any hand relief for victims of the tropical storm Sendong. If you'd like to check us out online, you can find us on Facebook as Apex Express. You can find our blog at apexexpress.org. Many thanks to Jane and RJ, Ellen, and all the crew of Apex. Wish you peace. Michael Parenti thanking you for your donation to KPFA and urging you to pay your pledge as soon as possible. Money from donors like yourself is what keeps this station in operation and allows KPFA to bring you the kind of free speech alternative programming that features people who challenge the conventional corporate viewpoint.